Hello YouTube, welcome to another MMD PMD tutorial. And I have to apologize that I'm not able to upload consistently. Um, between college and work, I've got very, very little free time. Um, so I'm still not accepting requests because of that. And about YouTube comments, I don't receive notifications the majority of the time. Um, so if you don't get a response, that is like 95% percent of the reason why is just because I'm not getting notified. Um, I've been trying to kind of keep up on that a little bit, but it's difficult. Um, but so anyway, if you watched the last video, you will know this one is going to be about texturing models. Um, so here's just some examples of the texturing I'm talking about. Because there's two different ways you can do it. One is really just a beginner way so I really don't recommend doing it um, it's just setting one texture on the whole entire model um, again I don't recommend doing it most people start out doing it because they just don't know um, and then the other way is actually taking individual pieces and adding textures to them and that's what we'll be learning um, so there's a few things I do need to mention. You do want to have up your background because um, if you do not have up a background, there is a big chance that, um, well, in fact, your textures won't show up right. So you definitely want to have a background, not just like a color or whatever. You definitely want to have like an actual stage. Um, so I saw I've got mine up here and I'm using this model and I'll go ahead and post that um this the woman who does these all of her models she makes are amazing um and yeah this this one shows the textures like really well um so I'll go ahead and put her deviant art down in the description um the other thing you're going to need is the MMD effect thing it's usually sits right up here in this corner um I will also put this in there for you as well because you have to have that or it, this will not work. Um, and then lastly, the shades that I'm going to be, or well, yeah, the textures that I'm going to be using, I will go ahead and link. Um, so let's begin now. First things first is, and I have mine labeled one, two, three, um, up to six. And the first thing, number one, is excellent shadow, and you usually just want to take, you just want to take this one. It's excellent shadow dot x. Hold it and drag it just onto MMD, and that's it. Next one, self overlay. You want to get the second one. Drag it, and yes, it's supposed to change like that. It's okay. Next one is this one and you want to use uh, this one right here and drag that and as you can see it got darker it got back to being normal a little normal looking this one I actually don't super like so I'm really not going to focus on this one um, I'm not even gonna put this one in this one a brief description kind of makes it focus more on the model, but I really hate using this one because it does not work for a lot of models in my experience. Um, and speaking of not working for models, this texturing, what I'm showing you guys, does not work for all models, but it does work for the majority. Um, so anyway, this last one, Auto Luminous, you want to use uh, this one. Go ahead and drag it. And in this case, this uh, stage is a luminous stage, so it will light up and um, like it'll make your eyes on your model light up or if your model has and by light up I mean just like I have a little shine and if your model does have like other things that are supposed to light up those will light up um, so after you've got all that crap dragged on you want to come up here to your MME uh, effect thingy and click on it go to effect mapping and this will come up as you can see we have all of the ones we just put on on just dragged it on we are looking for the model name. What most new people do is they just double click it, click on a shader, and as you can see, it makes the whole model whatever shader you clicked. And as you can see, it it just does not look very good. It just doesn't. Um, so don't do that. We're going to learn a new way today. You want to right click on the model, click this bottom one, and 
Oh man, it's snowing a lot outside. I'm sorry, guys. I just got so distracted. I had no idea there was so much snow outside. There was not all of that there earlier. Okay, anyway, so these will all come up. And unfortunately, as you can see, it's just named this little stuff. Most of the time, your little subsets will not be named. So unfortunately, a lot of the time it is trial and error. And it is a pain. I am not going to lie. Um, so again, it's trial and error. You just got to see what turns into what. So go ahead, go to your first one. And you can double click and go to your texture. And this is the one we're going to use. This is by far the best one. And as you can see, it's got a cloth texture, cheeks for your eyes. I don't know what flush is. And then it's got for hair and skin. So the first thing that I do is I just click on the little first one to see what changes. So as you can see, the skin changed. And if you remember, there's an actual um, effect just for skin. So click on that one. The skin will change. Then you just go down the process and you keep doing it and see what changes. So those are the gloves. So we'll go ahead and, um, where is it? Cloth. We can go ahead and do, or since this is leather, you can, I guess, use adult shader or um, I'll, I'll use lotion. Um, and I, I can put lotion in there as well. Uh, lotion kind of makes stuff a little, a little shiny. Um, so next one. Okay, so that was the neck. So we'll go back and do skin. And next one. And right now it might look a little weird, but don't worry. It'll, it'll look better in a minute. Next one. Okay, so face. That'll be back to skin. And this one was another piece of the neck. So skin. As you can see, it's, it's extremely time consuming. Okay, so for this one. Um, it kind of really depends on what you want to do. Um, in fact, let me remove so you can see. Um, I'll, I'll let you, oops, I'll let you get a little bit of a closer view as to what this is actually um, doing on the face. So, clicking it normally, as you can see, it's getting pretty much all of that up there. Um, I assume that th that was what flush was for. I mean, I usually just use cornea for that up there. That's always what I use. So personally, if you get something affecting up there, I personally just use cornea for it. Um, so let me go ahead and zoom back out so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so next one. Okay, so the eyes changed. So again, let me go back up so you can see. So I don't know why my stupid thing glitches like that. Okay, so The eyes changed. And if you don't really like mind the way it looks, you can just kind of like keep it normal. That changed. And some of these, uh, by the way, will actually change like little inside pieces, if that makes sense. Um, so sometimes you won't even see anything change at all. And that's okay because I usually, that's, that was probably like an inside piece. Um, I'll usually just keep it as the original one up here. Okay, so now we got a hair one actually good um so as you can see there's hair there's horizontal which on this character does not fit um and then you're a vertical which on this one you'd have to use so this one might be hair okay yeah, that one's the hair line so we'll go ahead and do vertical for that again And as you can see, nothing is, okay, there's some clothes. Nothing was changing before that. Um, so you would just, um, it's probably the inside of the face stuff. And I, I know for the gloves I used lotion, but for the sleeves and like this part, I just used, I went ahead and used adult shader. Okay, and that's the rest of the clothes. So adult shader, as you can see, it makes it kind of shiny. And then this last one is the back of her hair, so that'll be vertical again. So, as you can see, she is complete. Don't forget to press apply and okay, because if you don't, it'll exit it all out. So, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, so, see how these are, are kind of, you know, shiny. It actually kind of looks like it's like legit leather. Um, going a little bit further up. 
you can see that shiny. This, since these are connected to the boots, it's going to look shiny because, of course, you know, that's cloth, but. And then going a little bit further up, you see the shininess. A little further up. You can see the shininess like on the skin and everything. Oops, and then we'll zoom in just a bit so we can get a little bit closer look at the face and the hair. So you can see the eyes look really nice, the face looks really nice, and then the hair looks really well. And even when you, um, it looks fine when you close them. And then the mouth. And then that's literally all you have to do. Um, again, I need to repeat, this will not work for every model. Some models, you just cannot use the P-Moat skin or whatever the heck it's called. It just, it does not work. Um, this has worked for like 95% of models I've used. Um, so it shouldn't be that big of a problem. But that re that's literally all there is to it. Uh, a lot of trial and error. Um, and, um, making sure you have your background up. Um, in fact, let me see if it'll let me take the background off so you can see what it'll look like. Oops, I accidentally took auto luminous off, which is why it did that. But as you can see, the model looks quite a bit different. Let me, um... Go ahead and put the auto luminous back on. The model looks different, uh, as you can see, um, and this it only even looks the way it does now, just because I had the background on first. But if you would have tried this first before, it makes the model look really, really weird. So again, I'm just recommending definitely go ahead and put your background up first. Um, so that's literally all there is to this way of um, loading textures. If you guys have any questions at all, or if I went too fast or anything, please comment and I will try to get to you as quickly as I can. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and please stay tuned for the next one. I don't have anything in mind for the next one, so if you have any suggestions, please leave those in the comments.